After the Wrights first flight in Kill Devil Hills, they immediately filed and were granted a patent for the aircraft. Specifically, the Wrights were filing a patent for a three-axis control system that allowed the aircraft to be flown utilizing a rudder, elevator, and twisting of the wings to create a rolling motion. This was known as wing warping. When Glenn Curtis produced his first successful flying aircraft in 1908, he claimed it was different from the Wrights. Instead of twisting the whole wing to roll the aircraft, he used two surfaces on the trailing edge of the wing to deflect in opposite directions. This control surface became known as the aileron, which was French for little wing. The Wrights were unwilling to allow any development not to profit them, and Curtis's decision to continue to produce aircraft regardless of that fact resulted in one of the largest patent wars in the history of the United States. The patent war singly stifened the production and development of aircraft in the United States all the way till the end of World War I. The government ended up having to step in and intervene in 1917, creating what was known as a patent pool, allowing anyone to manufacture aviation patents freely after paying a small royalty. In an interesting turn of fate, the lawyers on each side who had been attempting to sue each other for years began to recognize the benefit of merging the two aviation powerhouses before they obliterated each other. In 1929, the companies did merge to produce the Curtis Wright Corporation, which led the industry in production and design well past the Second World War.